Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Makim. This is your brother Lahab coming back at you again with a quick lesson. Lord willing, is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. Before I get started, I want to start off by giving infinite honor, infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who pushes truth 100%, being a great example to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings to the Akim up under the elders, pushing his truth throughout the four winds with all faith, sincerity, and in diligence. To you, we say Shalom. And um, uh, coming back at you all again with uh, some good words of encouragement. And uh, what better words to have to encourage you? And then the words of the Lord, then the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And um gonna gonna make it real quick, Lord willing. You know, gonna get into a scripture, man, to to send some words of encouragement out there, man. You know, cause uh, you know, at a at a day to day basis, man, we, we struggle, you know what I'm saying, with with putting up with Esau at work, you know, on the plantation or or in our day to day lives, you know, where they be going to the fucking to the to the uh to the store or, you know, just driving or, or whatnot, man. You know? Or even, you know, hey, especially putting up with J Cash, but in specifics, you know, hey we're gonna focus on, you know, putting up with Esau ass, man. You know, because we, we know this that we are this day in our captivity. You know, just roughly paraphrasing it. But uh we're gonna dive right into it. I don't wanna keep rambling on too much. And we're gonna start off right here. Revelation thirteen and ten. You know, the classic. And it reads he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. We know this, we, we know this devil led us into captivity, man. It's not no secret, you know, and, and if and if someone believes otherwise that we wasn't led over here into captivity, hey, they're under strong delusion, man. <laughs> it says, He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Hey, these motherfuckers are still killing us with the sword, man. You know, shooting us with guns. That's a modern day sword, you know. However it may, however it may go, man. However, however they may put our ass to death, man. Uh, you know. Guess what? We're going to do that to him, man. We're going to, the Lord going to. Gonna give us the opportunity, man, to have these to have these devils in in a subjection, you know, and we're gonna be able to do them how they was doing us, man, you know. But in righteousness, you know, we ain't gonna be doing the fucking shit, the wicked shit that they used to do to us. No, we're gonna do this righteously to them, you know. So all we gotta do is be patient, man, and hang on to the faith, and and and. And the Lord going to give us these people, man, you know, as an inheritance, roughly paraphrasing it. And it says, uh, here is the patience in the faith of the saints. This is our patience, man, of the faith of the saints. And who are those saints is talking about? The elect, man. This is what we got to look forward to. This is what we got to. To, to hang on, man. This is what motivates us. This is what drives us, you know, to keep on pushing through the day, man. You know, so, hey, guess what? Yeah, 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 you got that, you got that Esau, you know, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a calm down and I'm a, and I'm a, I'm a do my job the right way, you know, you got it. This is not our rest, you know, we know that, Michael 2 and 10. This is not our rest, man. Matter of fact, I might pull that one, but I want to get this one real quick. Real quick, man. Uh, like I said, I don't want to 
try to make it too long. What is it? Okay. Uh, 30. This is Jeremiah chapter 30. And our right, here it is. And it's verse 16. And it reads, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, guess what? Shall go into captivity. And this is, and this is, thus says the Lord, man. This ain't me speaking. This, this ain't none of us, you know, just coming up with our own opinion and this. And, no, man, this is what thus says the Lord say. So this is going to stand, man. And, and, and getting into it, you know, all these, all these other heathen nations, man, had a hand in, uh, in our captivities, man. All of them, we went into captivity under all these other, uh, nations, man. That's why it says all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, man. So this is what we got to look forward to, man. This is out the faith and the patience of the saints, man. To know that, that the Heavenly Father and His Son is going to come back and rescue us, man. And give us the kingdom, man. And put these and put these nations, starting with Esau, as in subjection and captivity, you know. And rule over them forever, man. If those, if if these right here ain't some good words of encouragement, man, I don't know what it is. Let me keep going. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Man. Just hold just hold on, Akim. Like We're gonna be going home soon, man. Just hold on. We're gonna be going home. You know, and um I think I hit the points good enough, you know, I didn't, I don't want this to be too long-winded, you know, hey, just some, just some good words of encouragement, I came from the Lord, you know, so with that, I'm gonna I'm end it right there, I'm gonna give infinite honor, infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, Rekal Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who pushes truth 100%, being a great example to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings to the Akim, up under the elders, pushing his truth throughout the four winds with all faith, sincerity, and diligence. To you we say Shalom. And the Baal Baal, Kwam Yasha'Allah, DTA. Shalom Akim.